In case you haven't seen any of the previous videos, I transformed Reaper into Pro Tools and every once in a while I fix some things or add new things to make my life easier. So this is just one of those updates videos. You'll find my configuration in the first link in the description box below. And if you don't know how to install it, I made a whole video about how to install my configuration. Second link in the description. Today I was working in the studio and I was editing some audio and I noticed something that really bothered me. If I select a region and hit X to delete it, there's still a time selection and the time selection should go away because oftentimes when I do this and I try to grab something else, let's say there's a clip right here underneath it. So I grab the bottom of that clip and try to move it. Look what happened. I just cut the clip. I didn't mean to do that, but there was the time selection above it. So I wanted to get rid of the time selection. So I wrote a script to fix that. If I select right now and hit X to delete, the time selection goes away after deleting and also the cursor goes to the start of the time selection. I'll do it again. You see that the cursor goes to the start of the time selection. This is the script. It's called Daniel cut items, tracks, envelope points, depending on focus. This is the same name of the action that I was using before, but I added a few things to it. So this is the part where I'm cutting and after it, I'm clearing the time selection. And here I'm setting the cursor position to be the start of the time selection. So when I do this, and hit the action, the cursor will actually jump to where the start of the selection was. So when I play after it, I can play from where that selection was. If you worked in Pro Tools, that makes a lot of sense. It's very intuitive. Then I thought, okay, well, maybe I don't always want that. Maybe I just want to select and cut without moving the edit cursor. So I had to recreate the whole link timeline and edit selection like in Pro Tools, this one. And I also remade the icon from scratch. And I made sure this is on when you turn on Reaper because by default it will turn it off. So in the global startup action, I told it to turn it on when you open Reaper. When I select something, I want to play from the start of the selection. When I cut something, I want to play from the start of the cut. That's the default behavior that I want. Now, if I don't want that, in case I want the edit cursor to be independent, I can turn this off. And then if I do the cut, it will not move. If I select and play, it will not jump to the start of the selection. I didn't assign any shortcuts to this button because in Pro Tools, it's shift and question mark. But in Reaper, that shortcut is to open the action list and I use it a ton. And you probably also do, so I left this alone. So here are the other things that I did in the cutting script. I'm checking if this link timeline and edit selection is on or off. And I'm also checking for the insertion follows playback to know whether I should move the edit cursor or not. So if this is on and I select something and cut it, the edit cursor will move to the start of where the selection was. If this is off and I select something and cut, the edit cursor will not move. It will stay wherever it is. Likewise, I also modified the play and stop script and added those two checks before it. So if the link timeline and edit selection is on, and I select something and I hit play, the cursor will jump to the start of the selection and start playing from there. And if the insertion follows playback is also on, it will ignore that. So I'm gonna do it selection, it's ignoring it. Same thing for the cut, if I select and cut, because insertion follows playback is on, it will not jump back. If this is off and I select something here and cut, you see the cursor jumps. And I was looking into the insertion follows playback script because I'm using some of the logic here. And I noticed that there's an extra variable that I wasn't using here. It was called is pressed. So I just deleted that because it doesn't need to exist if it's not being used. Now this button doesn't need to be on the toolbar for it to work, but I put it here just because I didn't assign any shortcut to it so that I don't go into the action list and search for Daniel link. You can do that and just click on it here and run it. It will turn it on or off if you don't want to have it in the toolbar. This is the global startup actions. When you open Reaper, these things will happen because the Reaper by default will turn off this button. It doesn't stay on after you relaunch Reaper. I put in the startup actions to get that action and set the toggle state to on. So that will be the default behavior. And by the way, if you open a new project, it will stay off. It will only get turned on automatically again when you relaunch Reaper, not when you're opening new projects. Also, in case you did something and you messed up your keyboard shortcuts or mouse modifiers, I included them in my repository. So if I go to extensions, repack, manage repositories, Daniel, and you right click on my name about Daniel and install slash update Daniel and install all packages in this repository, you will get my keyboard shortcuts and mouse modifiers in the data folder. So if you go to the Reaper resource folder options, 
and then go to show Reaper resource path. In the data folder, you can scroll down and you will see right here, Daniel keyboard shortcuts and Daniel mouse modifiers. So here in the actions list, you can do key map and import shortcuts slash custom actions to this section. So this is the third option. And you can go back one folder and find the data folder and scroll down and this will be it. Just select it and open. Same thing for the mouse modifier. So go ahead to the first link in the description and go to the configurations folder and download configuration version 2.5. The only thing that bothers me about reinstalling the configuration as opposed to just synchronizing packages is that if you have a different size screen, the screen sets might be messed up. So I use this for voice over recording and this for managing tracks and items. And this is just the default screen set. Whenever I update my configuration in the studio on the iMac because it has a different aspect ratio different size screen it will look a little bit wonky so you can click ctrl e to open the screen sets and just after you move things around and fix your screen you can select the preset and save it again and to recall them it's alt 1 on the numeric keypad or alt 2 on the numeric keypad or alt 3 on the numeric keypad second link in the description is a video of how to install my configuration if you're still watching till now i think you probably care to hear me out at least a little bit i've been trying to leave here for a while since the war started. I'm living in Lebanon. I just want to get out of here. And I've been searching online on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, different websites that have job listings, and I can't seem to find any employer that is willing to sponsor a visa. And I do currently have a job, but I really want to get out of here because there's no future in this country. So even if you can't directly help, maybe you know someone who has some connections, who knows someone else who can help. I have made a little buy me a coffee page to share my story. Share this page with someone. I'll link it in the description and if you can see right here please link your payout method i don't have a payout method that's the whole problem any payment gateway in lebanon is banned even bank transfers i have a bank account but i can't do international transfers so there isn't any way to make money outside of my job that's why i really want to get out of here my email is in here and in the channel about section also so please reach out i'm not looking for pity i know there are opportunities abroad but i just can't find them on my own i appreciate all your help now on the screen there's a video that youtube thinks you might like so click on it and i'll see you there